Welcome to another Blueprint RT video. This video is part of a video series about Node-RED and in this video we're going to take a look on the inject node and the debug node. Let's go back to our inject node and check the other options. Beside the number we have a bunch of different options here. I just want to mention a few of them. Of course we have a string. We already used the string in our topic which will be all kind of text. So we could type in hello world as we want and of course we can also use numbers here but please be aware in case you want to submit a logic level like for GPIO pin you want to set it on a high level like a high voltage level or a low voltage level for example 3.3 volts or 0 volts and you want to like activate this GPIO and you want to use 0 and 1 as a digital logic level you can't use string because it will interpret this as text and not as a number. So in case you want to work with logic levels, make sure to use the number. Beside the string, you also have Boolean, which is true or false, no other options. And this can be used for any kind of logic arrays or logic flows. Beside the timestamp, we have also a buffer. A buffer is a binary buffer which is kind of complicated what it is exactly, but I just want to mention it right now here because it's a data type we may have to use later in case you want to transmit a picture. We can transmit pictures as binary buffer to transmit it easily via a certain kind of communication. So I just want to mention it here, but we won't dig deeper into it. So let's stay with the string for the moment. Let's try the string as well. And once more, it's working we get the message directly. The quotation marks already indicating that this is a string and not a number. And we can also see the data type here, string, and here we see number. In case of the string, we can even see how many digits the string contains. And of course you can see again, as soon as we hover through this message here, we can see from which debug node it comes. So this one gets a orange dotted line as soon as we hover above it. But you may wonder where is the topic? We cannot read the topic at all. So before we go back to the inject node, let's take a closer look on the debug node. As we see right away, we have to define which part of the object we want to listen to. And in this case, we listen to message.payload. So in case we want to listen to the topic, we go for message.topic and give it a try again. And here we go, it's working right away. Now we get temperature one. If we take a closer look, we can see that we are reading here the message.topic and here we've been reading message.payload. So this makes total sense. But what if we want to read the whole object? So let's go back to the debug node and select the part of the object. And here we can select if we want to read a part of the object or the complete message object and here we get the term object for the first time. Beside this we can also select that we want to read the message also in the system console or the node red status. Something you can do but honestly you work in node red anyway so let's keep it in the debug window. That's the place where you can immediately spot it. Of course we can also give it a name so we can just keep the name debug one, I think this is fine. So let's press done again, deploy once more and give it another try. So here we go and now it looks a bit more complicated but that's actually what we wanted. It looks a bit messed up so press one time on this message and it gets nice and organized. We get the whole object which consists of the payload, hello world 56, what we injected right away and topic temp one also the topic we had before. Now we have everything nice and organized in the whole object we can read. Furthermore, there's the message ID, something we're not defining intentionally. This is created automatically. It's just helping you to organize all those messages and just imagine in case you get the same temperature reading 10 times in a row, it's not changing and you're wondering, is my sensor broken or do I read the same message over and over again? Is it kind of a loop? We can just identify each individual message and see, okay, it's just the same reading. So maybe it's a problem with the temperature sensor itself or the temperature is just not changing. So in case you want to analyze something more deeply, 
or you just want to have a better overview of what's going on, I would always recommend to go for the complete message object of the debug node. Then you can get the payload, the message ID and the topic, everything at once and don't have to change anything. Going back to the inject node, I want to mention one more thing. First of all, we have inject once after 0.1 seconds. You can also change this, maybe one second, whatever. This helps in case you have GPIO pins on the other end and you want to make sure to inject, for example, a high level at the beginning to have a defined logic level. This can help a lot because sometimes you have output pins and those kind of toggle in case you don't inject a certain logic level. So this is very helpful for that or in case you want to just make sure your system boots up and the first thing to happen would be like a hello world message like in this case. So we can use this one and as soon as the system boots or we deploy this message will show up. So let's give it a try. And here we go automatically right one second after we deployed, we get the object we injected with our inject node. So this can be useful, but probably most of the cases you won't use it. But what you may use is the repeat option where you can have, of course, non repeat at all. You can have an interval like once every second in case you need a uh, rhythm or whatever. You can also have an interval between sp specific times. So in case you want to trigger an irrigation system, for example, you can say, okay, we want to have it on or we have want to have sent our message every 10 minutes between whatever six o'clock in the morning and seven o'clock. So we have kind of an interval in this time and trigger whatever a pump or whatever to use this for something that makes sense is probably kind of limited. You may end up with using several inject nodes with several intervals between times like injecting every 10 minutes an on message and after five more minutes you're injecting an off message. So you make sure that you have like this five minutes of irrigation or something like this. But that's something for another video. The last option is you want to trigger it at a specific time. Of course, that's something like an alarm or whatever. We can select a specific time here. And of course, also a specific day. Maybe you just want to send a message every Monday, like whatever. You want to have a welcome message for the week for your customer then you can use this at a specific time. And since the inject node is so versatile, you can use it, of course, for text, you can use it for logic levels, you can use it for certain values. It's very, very versatile. So that's just a tool for you and it's up to your imagination. So to sum it up, we have our inject node where we can repeat our injected messages, inject it only once, we can inject it at a specific time, we can inject certain parts of the object, we can use as many subsections for the object as we want. We can give it a name, we can select different data types. And for the debug node, we can debug only a certain part of the message, a certain part of the object, or we can debug or listen to the whole object at once. And everything we are injecting and listen to with a debug node, we can read here on our right hand side debug console. Of course, you can connect the inject node to every other kind of node. We will take a look on another video. And of course, you can also connect the debug node to any other kind of node, which we will all learn in the upcoming videos. So I want to close today's video with this nice repeated message once in a second. So thanks for watching and make sure to be subscribed for our further videos where we will learn what else we can do with the inject and the debug node.